Hey everyone. So, uh, let me give you guys a quick video and uh, before I gotta go eat supper. So, I figure out two things I wanna show you guys. My last video, um, I discussed going to get my girlfriend's um, camera for her birthday. And uh, everything went great. Got there, I met the lady. And uh, brand new camera. We looked it over, tried it out, played with it for a sec. Did the exchange. Everything went great. I'll show you guys this camera. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little under weather. <clears throat> I'm going to start doing my videos <clears throat> with this camera instead of my phone. When, uh, when I get all my stuff set up. So, this is the Nikon D3400. It is a 20, I think 24 megapixel camera, does videos, pictures, the whole nine yards, got a nice big lens here. This is the, uh, let's see, 18 to 55 millimeter lens. It come with a 70 to 300 big lens. Yeah, 70 to 300. The charger. CDs to put the uh, pictures on if you want to store them on CDs. Or she threw in some paper that I could print them on if I wanted to. And uh, I got to tell you, this thing does uh, it, it does fantastic pictures. Um, if you're looking for a camera, uh, you can either have it to where it shows all your settings. Let's see if I can get that to show up. is or you can push the button and you will see what the camera sees so you will see me um and uh, man it's especially out in the sun it'll take some nice pictures this is the way to go and uh i couldn't decide whether i wanted to go with this or the canon the canon t6 rebel i think I read some iffy reviews on that one. So, I spent a little bit more money. I got the knock on. Uh, okay, so that's one thing. Uh, if you're looking for a camera, get that, get that one. That's a good camera. For a price, good camera. The, uh, the other things I wanted to show you guys is they had the... Deer Hunter, Deer Hunting Expo this weekend to BJCC in Birmingham, Alabama. And I went with the intention just to walk around, see what's going on, see stuff coming out, coming out. And didn't go plan on spending on any money. Um, so I left my wallet in the car. That's all I got to say. Got two things I'm going to show you. Um, the first one. I'm going to show you, it's still in the box. Um, it, um, there was a mistake, and I, sh I know better, I should have checked. Anyway, I've done contact them, but they're, they're going to make it right, and we're going to work up a deal. Tore I get the correct item. Um, anyway, bought two. Because they made me a price, I couldn't really turn it down. Two red dots. And, <laughs> yeah, I know. Two. That's okay because my Stevens or Savage 12 gauge. I'll put the other one on. Put one on it. I've already got one of them put on my AR. I'm going to show you here in a second. One of them is they're both um, either 2 MOA or 3 MOA. Uh, one of them, they both have a one-time magnification. Um, both Picatinny styles. Both are waterproof. Both are shockproof. They both take a 20-32 battery. One is the round uh, tube size, 30 millimeter. And the other one is the red dot style where it's just, it mounts up. And then you have the 
the one lens that's projected for the red dot. It ain't got, it's not round, it's flat. I'll show you. That's the one I got a problem with. So, I made a deal, and we opened up the box and showed me the one that I really wanted. I picked up another one. So, I was like, how much is this one? I've always been interested in these. And he said, I tell you what, for this price, he said, I'll include both of them. I said, okay. So, I took it. Well, unfortunately, he looked at the part number, looked at the item number on the box, picked it up, put it in the bag. Um, that was the second one. The first one, we picked it up and we opened up the box and said, here, I want to, he said, I want to make sure everything's in here. And uh, opened it up, looked at it, said, yeah, that's it. And, but then he put it in my bag and then he picked up this one, the one we have issue with, and put it, read the model number, put it in the bag. And I didn't think the check was at a daggum big expo like this. And we should open. I should open up the box to make sure it was the right one. But um, it's not like someone swapped it out. Someone has looked at it, looked at two possibly at the same time, and didn't get the right the lids put back on the box because the lid itself is what shows what's in it. See, that's what. Uh, that's what's supposed to be in it, if it'll focus. It's probably backwards. Anyway, you see what it's supposed to be by the picture. This is what it is. Which is a neat looking little red dot. Uh, it is super tiny. Um, it will mount on my AR. I did put it on there just to see what it looked like. It does come to part right here in the center. I uh, to uh, take out these two screws right there and pull it apart. The battery goes in, and uh, it's a nice, clean red dot. I will give you that, <clears throat> but it's not what I want. So I'm gonna put that back in the box. I've already contacted him. He's uh, when he get back, they are out of Springdale, Arizona. So when he gets back to his office. He's going to send me the correct one. And I might be doing some more business with him. The brand is Bresser. B R E S S E R. Um, seems like it's good quality stuff. Price is pretty good. Can't complain there. Um, that's a nice little red dot. But it's just not what I'm wanting. I want something. I want was pictured right there. That's clearly not it. But um, a nice big package box. Presser B R E S S E R. Uh, it's German, fully multi-coated, shockproof. Both semi-automatics and shotguns is what they advertise. Uh, this one is a, it's a red dot. The red color is red dot. It's got 11 brightness settings. Uh, it's got a five-year uh, warranty. Man, it seems like it's all right. Never heard of it, but we're going to give it a shot anyway and try it out. Go on camera. Um, anyway, okay, now this is the one that I really wanted. This does a red and green picket any style, both waterproof and shockproof. Like I said, um, this is the round style, it does take the 2032 battery. Um, pretty much all the same stuff. Okay, let me show you this one. This is on my 6.8 SPC. You do have your windage and all your adjustments right here on the side. Screw your caps off. Uh, let's see, they are they are labeled, kinda, but they are on there. I don't know if you can see that? Probably not, but. They are on there. Nice little metal caps. Um, 
Beach. It got a good solid mount. It's on there. Pretty good. Uh, it does come with little caps. Take them off. It's very, very clear. I will give them that. And this joker does get bright. If I can turn it on. And, uh, let's see if you guys can see it. Okay, we're, I don't know how well we're going to be able to see this, but we're going to try. Hey. Yeah, I doubt you're going to be able to see that. Oh, well. I'll take my word for it. <laughs> but uh, it does have a... Well, you can kind of see. Well, no, you can't. Can you see it? Uh, either way, it's nice. It gets bright as I'll get out. And it doesn't really all kind of. doesn't really distort it. I guess that's, that's, that's on number four. Red, and I can see it pretty good. Three's nice. Okay, either way. Um, if you're looking for a good budget friendly a uh, red dot, check these guys out. Give them a shot. I mean, seems like they're pretty good. I'll let you know because we're gonna go out uh, probably next next day or so. We'll go out there and uh, kind of do what. I don't know if you ever checked out Seven Four Tackle. If you've never seen any of his videos, check them out. A lot of those those optics he's get, well he throws them back to a beat. I love what it does with the water bottle, submerges them under water. We're gonna kind of do the same thing with these, and uh, we're gonna see how they hold up. We're gonna beat the crap out of it. We're gonna dunk it in a bucket of water. We're gonna see how if it holds zero, make sure it stays on. All that kind of good stuff. We're gonna we're gonna see how it does. So this Bresser company, they do a little bit of everything. So, like I said, they're out of Arizona. Um, I've got their 2018 Sport Optics catalog. They got uh, Montana Series binoculars, Everest Series binoculars, um, Condor. Series binoculars, Corvette series binoculars, Hunter's binoculars, Traveler Pro series binoculars, uh, bird feeders with cameras, game cameras, um, spotting scopes, rifle scopes, uh, HS binoculars, HR, HS rifle scopes, Omni series. And I got and it seems to be pretty nice stuff. I mean. Pick that up. So, that's not bad. Of course, I couldn't tell you much about binoculars. I ain't got a pair. It was my granddad's that we use on the boat. Uh, but they got some pretty nice stuff. Never heard of them. I never have, personally. But some of you guys probably have. I'm new, I'm new to. I'm learning all the AR stuff myself. Um, five megapixel game cameras. They're pretty fast. Yeah. Laser rangefinders. Spotting scopes. I got it all. So anyway, if, you, if if you're in the market for something like this, check these guys out. Uh, these guys that had the little booth set up, the PJCC in Birmingham, real nice group of guys. Uh, and I've been in contact with them a few times, and uh, we'll see how uh, we'll see how the, these uh, these red dots hold up. And I'll let you guys. We'll do a video on that. I'll, 
hell, I'll throw in a bucket of water for an hour or something like that to see how it does. Uh, I'm interested to see how they're going to do them on the 12-gauge. That's what I'm curious to see. But uh, anyway, guys, stay tuned. Uh, there's going to be a lot more to come. And uh, I'll let you know when I get the other optic swapped out for the correct one that I wanted. We'll do a video on it, touch base on that. And uh, put one on the shotgun. We'll see if it can take a beat for real. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, y'all go have some fun. And uh, don't, hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And uh, definitely stay tuned. There's going to be some very interesting stuff coming up pretty soon. All right, guys, y'all be good.